behind the scenes of our 1930s farmhouse. So if you don't know who we are, I'm Kendall and this is Zach and we own 71 acres in Bethpage, Tennessee. So when Zach bought the land in 2016, it also came with a farmhouse. So like she said, uh, in 2016 when I bought the property, um, I bought it for the land. Uh, the farmhouse was just an addition to it, a uh, plus. So I plan on using the 70 acres for our produce farm, obviously. Um, so the house was in... It was a complete disaster. It was a disaster. So we started dating um, literally like two weeks before I closed on the property. Um, so I brought her and her whole family out here and the whole property was in uh, field corn. And so, so inside the house. the house, it was just full <clears throat> of the dark paneling that you see in like the 70s. Like red cedar paneling. And it was just dark and just not inviting at all. So we got engaged in 2017. And so we had a whole year to renovate the whole downstairs so that we could move in in 2018 when we got married. So it was quite the process. Um, we, we did some things backwards. We did pretty much everything backwards. We were trying to... I think we started painting before we even put up any drywall. Well, we were, we were painting... Yeah, anyways. We just got ahead of ourselves. Well, you just don't really know until you get into it. And so we were doing electrical and plumbing and then later on realized that we needed to take out all this paneling. Um, yeah. I just didn't really have a vision for it. So when Kendall and I got engaged, we kind of really looked at it and decided, okay, this is not going to work. We took out our fireplace. We, we took out did walls, everything downstairs. We redid the original hardwood, which is one of our favorite parts of the whole house. Um, we put up insulation. The house had no insulation, so that was definitely needed. So now that the downstairs is done, we are now renovating the upstairs. We are excited and we're excited to capture it on film, just kind of what we're doing and so that we can have the memory uh, in the future of what we've done. So we're, we're proud of it and we're happy to be showing you guys. Yep, so let's go take you to the upstairs. to the studs and we filled up an entire 30 yard dumpster full of stuff. It was very dusty that day. So some of the plans that we have for this upstairs, so I tried to get it in the video, I don't know if it made it, but the ceilings are really, really low. So some of the plans that we have is that we're going to vault the ceilings, make them like 9 to 10 foot ceilings. As high as we can go. Um, just try to open it up as much as possible is the main thing. Yeah. So we are adding new joists. Um, currently it has two by four joists. Um, that's a no, no. It's gotta be at least two by six. We're probably gonna put two by eights in, um, and just literally redo as much as we possibly can within a budget, um, that we can do. So, so it's kind of interesting. This house, like we said, was built in the 1930s. And the guy who built it, his name was Hub Purdue, and he was actually a famous baseball player. He played in the major leagues between 1911 and 1915, so it's pretty cool. Um, his family actually is still our next door neighbors. They've been here since the 1792. Uh, it's the Reese brothers, and they're really well known in our area. But anyways, but anyways it's just it's really cool to kind of take the house apart kind of and see 
what he did back in the 1930s. It's really, really cool. And so we hope that he would be proud of us today, but yeah. and we, <laughs> we found, have a long way to go. We found a lot of things that have like proved to us when the house was built, when the barn was built, um, because he put his name and the date and everything in like the exact times of when he was doing stuff. Yeah. There's it's, sketches. It's really there's sketches on the old duct work of where he was designing the house, basically, which is super cool. We just loved ripping open the walls and seeing, you know, what they left is just awesome. Yeah. So now that we've shown you the upstairs, we're gonna take you through the process of us renovating the entire upstairs. And make sure to watch because I'm sure there will be some dramatic things that happen. Tune into our next videos and thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.